So the next step here will be searching again for another superintendent for APS, and that could cost the district even more money if they go the same route they used to hire Valentino. It sure can. New this morning, News 13's Catherine Mazzone looked into why another national search may not be the best option for APS. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Crystal. While it's costing APS $100,000 to get rid of Valentino, it costs another $35,000 to get him here. That's what APS spent on a nationwide search for superintendent. There's no word yet if the board plans on doing that again. But a Washington Post article points out those big national searches that put headhunting firms in charge of the district's next leader sometimes miss the mark. The article says the search often misses the best people for the job. The reason? According to the Washington Post, a national search will yield many candidates who have just been fired or are unhappy in their current superintendent jobs and often not the best people to lead a district with similar problems. The article states an internal candidate may be a better option. Now, before Valentino got the job at APS, he was up against five other finalists. Here they are behind me. There were two from New Mexico, two from Texas, and one from California. The board then whittled the pool down to just three. Almudina Abeta from Santa Fe, Michael Cordona from Houston, and of course, Luis Valentino. Back to you. Yeah, thanks, Catherine. And that board, by the way, is set to meet tomorrow at 5 o'clock.